blood glucose is measured with simple meters, either in the home or in the medical office. The AccuCheck is one such meter. Materials you'll need to check blood glucose levels with this meter are the AccuCheck glucometer, AccuCheck test strips, puncture device, sterile 2x2 gauze, disposable gloves, a sharps container, a biohazardous waste container, and the patient's chart. Begin by washing your hands. Gather equipment and supplies. Check the equipment log to verify that calibration and quality control have been performed and are acceptable. Escort the patient to the laboratory draw area and confirm identity. Explain the procedure. Wash your hands and put on disposable gloves. Check the expiration date on the test strip bottle. Use a different bottle if the expiration date has passed. Turn on the glucometer by pressing the on button. Ensure the meter's three digit test strip code matches the code on the test strip bottle. If not, enter the appropriate code. Wait for the meter to indicate that it is ready for a test strip. Within the short time frame specified by the glucometer model, Insert one test strip as directed into the meter. Assemble the supplied skin puncture device. Obtain a capillary blood specimen from the patient following standard procedure as detailed in other videos in this series. Venous or arterial specimens may also be used. Touch the edge of the test strip to the drop of blood. The blood will be pulled into the strip. Fill the target area of the strip completely. Do not let the strip touch the patient's skin when you obtain the specimen because oils from the skin may affect the test results. The glucose result will appear in the time frame specified by the manufacturer, usually within 30 seconds. Remove the test strip and discard it in a biohazard container. Dispose of the skin puncture device in the sharps container. Remove the disposable gloves and discard appropriately. Wash your hands. Document the date, time, finger used, patient's tolerance of the procedure, and results in the designated area of the chart. Casts are solid, rigid, cylindrical casings that immobilize joints or body parts to facilitate healing. Casts are made from many different materials, depending on the need. Fiberglass is a common cast material, as it is strong, lightweight, and waterproof. Materials you'll need for this procedure are rolls of fiberglass casting material, stockinette, padding, blunt and or sharp nose scissors, warm tap water, a 2-4 to four liter basin, disposable gloves, a stool or low chair for support if casting a foot or lower leg and if needed, patient drapes, and the patient's chart. 
Identify the patient and verify the physician's orders. Explain the procedure to the patient. Assist the patient into a comfortable position. The patient should be comfortable to avoid having to shift during the lengthy casting process. Ensure the patient is properly draped to protect privacy and any clothing he or she may be wearing. Wash your hands and put on gloves. Inspect the area to which the cast will be applied. If there are any open wounds, bruising, or excessive swelling, note these and report them to the physician. After the inspection, cleanse the limb. When the physician arrives and is ready to begin casting, open one package of fiberglass material. To prevent waste, do not open the other packages until they are needed. Hand the physician the materials requested. Or, if your medical office allows medical assistance to perform the preparation for casting, begin by cutting the stockinette to fit the area to be cast. Cover the affected body part with the stockinette, making sure it is smooth against the patient's skin and extends one to two inches beyond where the cast will end. If the stockinette wrinkles or becomes bulky, it may cause a pressure sore on the patient's skin. If you are casting the ankle, cut away excess wrinkled stockinette from the bend in the front of the ankle. Use a spiral bandage turn to pad the casting. Apply extra padding to any bony areas. When the physician is ready, soak a roll of fiberglass tape for the inner cast in the basin of warm water. The tape material will activate on contact with the water, so only wet as much as you need at one time. Hand the soaked tape to the physician, who will roll and form the inner cast.
When the inner cast is complete, you or the physician will roll the excess stockinette over the edges of the casting material to form a smooth edge. Open another package of tape for the outer cast, soak it, and hand it to the physician. The physician will shape and smooth the outer cast or may direct you to do so. When the cast is complete, clean up the workstation. Remove your gloves and wash your hands. Document the procedure in the patient's chart.